Hello, today I wanted to make a very quick video showing you how to use a .env file in your Golang application. So we're going to start right off in the .env file here where I've created a test variable called or that just says hello variable or hello world and it's called test underscore var. So now what first thing we're going to do is start a new application. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and create main.go, uh, let's call it package main and then a func main and we're going to have two imports. So the first import is going to be github.com uh, github.com slash joho slash go.env like so. And we're actually going to go get this as well. So we'll go down here and say go get, uh, oh, I have to go init go mod init and then I'm going to go ahead and use the repo where the source code will be so github.com slash Brady dash Agronoff slash go env demo and then now I'm going to go go get the joho go dot env um, I'm also going to import os like so and now I'm going to first run air is equal to go.env like so dot load so this loads in the entire env file for it to be uh, used by the os package now the os package oh, actually i'm going to set this i'm going to let it panic this air if there is one so now the os package is used to retrieve env variables so to do so we're going to say test var and i'm going to set that equal to os.getenv with a capital g and then the variable name as a string, being passed there as a parameter, like so. And then I'm gonna just print that, and we'll go ahead and run this. I'm gonna clear this so you can see it better. Just like so, and there you go. Main, or it says hello world here. And now if I change this to, uh, deep dive and then I run that again it will go ahead and log it there so it's that easy um, so you're going to go ahead and use the os.get env anywhere in your application to retrieve the uh, env files that you need just make sure that you initiate it with the go.env.load thanks for watching and I hope this helped